Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Now, quite a famous my color screen contributor, Xnick, is back from holiday and he has produced this awesome home screen called Synchronization 2.0. This home screen is very calm, cool, very sophisticated. As you can see, the first screen we've got our time, our battery, a little camera icon here behind this beautiful serene landscape as well as all of our jump to icons and looking at our second screen we've got our search bar at the top coupled with our unread messages emails alarm weather and this awesome awesome looking circle widget this home screen is truly one of a kind and if you'd like to know how to recreate this this video tutorial will tell you just that let us begin okay starting from our stock nova launcher don't worry if you're using apex or holo launcher that'll still work exactly the same way so if we want to hold into our options, we want to go into our Nova settings and we want to go into our desktop and then into our desktop grid, we want to change our rows and columns to a 10 by 9. Obviously if this doesn't work for you, if your widgets aren't configuring correctly, you can edit this at your will. We want to go OK. We want to take off the shadows, home screens, you want two home screens, wallpaper scrolling, you want it to be on and the scroll effect, I left it as none, it just makes things a lot easier to work with. Next you want to go into advanced, you want widget overlap and, and overlap when placing, these work really well as well. So we want to go back, we want to go into our dock settings, enable dock, you want that to be non-ticked or disabled. You want to go scroll down a bit and you can take off scroll indicator and scroll divider, he just makes things look a bit more beautiful. Finally you want to go into look and feel and you want to go show notification bar, you also want that disabled as you don't want to have it at the top right here. Obviously, if you want to get it back in, you can go into gestures and buttons and you can add in add in show notification bar as a gesture. Also, another button action that you might want to consider is showing your app drawer when pushing the home button, just in case you want to get access to your app drawer in a hurry. So it's quite easy. There we go. There's our Nova settings complete. Next, we'll be moving onto the wallpaper. Okay, so first you need to get into your gallery for the wallpaper. You want to hold down, select Nova Actions App Draw if you don't have a home button here and just select it to bring up your, your app draw. And you want to go into your gallery, I just use QuickPick. Now you want to find that wallpaper that you've copied to your phone provided by Xnick and have it right here. Now as you can see, this wallpaper, if you go Options, Details, this is not the dimensions for my phone and I'll explain it to you right now. As you can see, this one 260, that is twice the width of a certain phone's specifications. So if you want, you can always use Photoshop and resize it to your phone, but just remember to, the width must be double your phone, or if you don't feel like using a computer at all, you can go edit. Remember I mentioned Wallpaper Wizardry is quite a great app, and this worked for me. You wanna go set, stretch, stretch landscape, because now you've made it two screens, and you wanna go scroll, because you'll be scrolling it. Now if this doesn't work for you, you might have to use an image editor, or if you want, you can go use another great app called Photo Editor, which resizes it exactly to your specifications. Great, so once you've set your wallpaper, hopefully if you push your menu button, it should look like this. Remember, you've stretched it to the landscape, so it should fit in quite well, but if it doesn't, you might have to use an image editor just to get that width to be exactly double your phone. Great, now next we'll be moving on to adding in all the apps and screen jumpers. Okay, so let us begin with adding in all these app shortcuts. If you want to hold down and select apps, now the cool thing about Nova Launcher is that you can say select multiple. Not too sure if Apex does this, but it's quite a cool thing to have. So you want to start in adding in all the apps that you want for both screens. So for the music one on that side, you'll say Apollo. For the first screen, you can have Clock as well as Camera. Dropbox for the second screen. Gmail for the first screen. Messaging for the first screen. Phone for the second screen. And finally, Settings for both screens. We just add in that in separately. So you just go Add. And what I'll do is add in all of them into one little screen, or one little box right at the top. So now you can start placing them where you want. Phone will be over there. Messaging and so forth and so forth. Cool, so you get the idea. As you can see, if you want to add in an app draw, you just hold down, select Nova Actions, app draw, adds it in simple like that. And for all of these over here, there are screen jumpers. So when you tap there, over there, it'll jump to that side. So you want to hold down, select Nova Actions, jump to page, jump to page two, and place it all along the side here. As you can see, you can either add them in a row, which works quite well, or you can just add them individually, but you just have to remember where that icon is. I prefer having them in a long line. You can also add in desktop visualizer for adding in one long widget, but this just saves in adding in extra widgets, which may save your battery and memory usage. So once you've added in both for here, 
for this side as well as all of these as well as your screen jumpers oh yeah and the search one for the google over there so now once you've added in all of these like this you want to change every single one of them to a blank png now i'm just going to show you one and then you can just repeat for all of them so if, say for messages you want to hold down the icon select edit select the picture select gallery select the bank png select it and then just don't worry this is provided in the link below and click save okay boom as you can see it's disappeared but don't worry when you select it it'll still appear like that now you're going to be doing it for all of these screens i'm just going to fast forward it right now cool so once all your icons have been set up it should look like pretty much like this with all of them blank remember also to add in a little app draw there as well Next, we'll be moving on to the UCCW widgets, the best part. Okay, for these UCCW widgets, I'm just going to be adding in one by one. You want to hold down on the home screen, select widgets, and you want to go to UCCW. You can choose any size you want, doesn't really matter. Let's go for two by two, why not? Now from here, you want to go select open user and find the folder where you've saved these UCCWs. Here's mine over here. So you want to go into UCCW and here are the four that you need, as well as the extra one for the circle widget that I'll also add in. Now one thing to remember about these is that they might not fit your phone exactly. This is going to date and time. You'll just select it and it'll install it for you. I've already installed it so I'll just go yes. And you want to select the hand so it should pop up like this. And you want to just resize it now as close as possible. Don't worry if it overlaps on anything. You can always just send them to the back. So as you can see it's a little bit smaller and a little bit higher than what it should be. So you just want to select it. This you'll be doing it for all of them. So you just want to go select object. Let's go for date. And you want to go position. Down by two. And you want to go time. You can do it for the same also down by two this may vary for any phone that you have so you want to go back and you can see it moves down pretty cool if you like the way it is you want to just select it remember if you want to also resize them you want to go into controls one by selecting the object size changing it a bit smaller or bigger like the way it is you go options save export skin and save the skin just so you won't lose it and lose all your data i'm going to adding in each one of the skins for the battery here the notifications next alarm and the circle widget see you soon cool so i've back now added in all the widgets as you can see here if you get something funky for emails remember to open the editor select emails one scroll to your account in controls five change your account to your primary address and change the label to inbox like that also if your alarm doesn't appear that means you haven't sent an alarm also if say tapping your messages doesn't work too well that's because you want to hold down on the skin and say send to back bringing it behind the messages Sorry, still can't get over how cool this battery circle widget looks. UCCW and XNEC, good combo. And there we have our home screen completed. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. And as always, leave a like, comment, share something about the screen. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and I'll see you around next time.